I'm an English teacher. Um, I get my curriculum from the Louisiana Curriculum Hub. You might get yours from a Google Drive folder. But when you get it, let me see. Come on, internet. When you get your curriculum, it's likely a lot of documents. It's likely a lot of documents. Um, even for math, math, I feel like y'all, y'all got the most documents, child. Um, let's see if I got I got some math worksheets. I mean, y'all, it's all documents. The problem is, um, even if you use teacher pay teachers, like just a lot of documents, right? The problem is a lot of times I don't need to use all nine of these pages all at the same time. So you need to split and merge them. So I use Cami to split and merge. This is what I use to split and merge. When you get to the Cami main page, just sign in, sign in with your Google account, and right here, there's a split and merge button. It's kind of hidden. I've given them feedback. I told them they need to highlight it better. But this is, a, this is a tool. It's called split and merge. And when you select it, it'll let you pick files from your Google Drive. Or if you click kind of off to the side, it'll let you pick a file that you downloaded. When you hit next, it separates all the pages. If you need to mix and match, you can hit the plus down at the corner and bring in a second document. Wild. So you can mix and match. Like I wanna take this page, this page and this page, and now I have a custom packet, right? If you need to rotate a page, like Stephanie needs to rotate a page, like let's say one of these is the wrong orientation, the rotate button is right here underneath each image of the page. So I can rotate just the page. Yes. <laughs> so yeah, yeah. So if you need to remix the worksheets, the documents that are given to you, this is how I mix it up. This is how I mix it up. I go to the split and merge tool. I rotate the pages I need to rotate. I drag in the mixed sequence that I want. And then you just choose export. And you can put it in um, Google Drive. You can download it directly. But this is how Marcus makes custom handbooks custom booklets for kids, custom training booklets for adults. It's just a mixing and matching of pages, really. Also, if you are, this is getting fun now. This is, this is getting fun now. If you use Google Slides, just remember that you can always file, download as a PDF, so you can actually turn a PowerPoint into a PDF so that you can mix and match the PowerPoint with the Engage New York worksheets with like a study guide. Like I'm the queen of Frankensteining some resources for these kids. <laughs> um, so yeah, if you have been struggling to mix and match your PDFs, struggle no more. Like please struggle no more. Go to Cami, sign in and choose Split and Merge. Change my life changed my life. I was like, what? You know how hard it used to be to chop up a PDF? And then if you have a PDF that needs some, some work, you can always open it in Cami. This is what I do. This is the Marcus Stein cheat. This is the Marcus Stein cheat, baby. I love to take shapes. And I want my fill color to be white. 
And if you don't want question two, draw a white box on top of it. That's what I do. Or if, like you want to cut a part of the question out, I just draw a white box on top of it. And then I download the file as a new file. So you can cover up parts of this. You can cover up this if you if you want to, you know. You can cover up parts of this if you wanted to. So just don't be scared to remix your work. And then you download it. If you want to bring in slides, so let's ask this question. If you want to mix slides, any Google slides you have, you can click file, download, PDF. And then when I'm at Cami split and merge, it'll let you use that PDF. So look, Jamboard with Marcus, we'll put this, we'll put, this next and look it's all here it's the pages from the, the slides and it's the pdf all in this whole thing and they're all like labeled and neat so i can do this page from the math this page from my slides this page from the explanation and then you export it as its own thing yes Yep, see, page one, little worksheet, page two, a slide, and then page three, another worksheet.